Hey guys, it's um, it's two, a little after two o'clock in the morning, and I wanted to make a quick video and uh, a couple topics I want to hit for you guys. First of all, um, interesting. I, I had a gentleman I, I happened to see. He saw I was rallying to hit seventeen thousand followers on Facebook and. And he assumed that uh, I was obsessing about how many followers I have and all that other stuff. And I thought that was kind of cute. And I did write to him um, because, one, you could have a million followers, but if none of them are listening to you, it's absolutely worthless. So what you're looking at right now is TweetDeck, which is an application I use to uh, keep up with all the people I uh, am connected to on Twitter. And basically what happened is tonight I logged into Twitter and I noticed that I was just short of having 17,000 followers. I was about, I don't know, 35 people short. So what I did, and I can't show you what I sent out. Actually, I might be able to. Let's see if I can do this. Sure, I can. I'm going to show you on my Twitter. This is uh, what I sent. I sent out I gotta go way back to find it too because uh, I ended up talking to so many people. Maybe easier to see on here. I sent out a message just basically saying, "Hey, I need uh, I need some help, and uh, I need here it is." So I sent this out uh, at about 10 o'clock or so, 10:30. I need me 36 people to hit 17k followers. Wow! Can anyone pass the word to help me hit it before bed? Thanks. And what started happening is that tons of people chimed in to help me. Let's show you that. And, and I knew that this would happen. See, because people will do more to help you than to help themselves. So what happened is, let me go down and find it for you. Everybody started tweeting for me. Everybody started encouraging everybody to help me. And people started to say hello. This is a great guy. He has this remarkable site with all kinds of real cool awareness books and um, all kinds of cool stuff. And he was saying hello. And I had, you know, uh, people learning how to retweet for me. And I had people sending out messages. Uh, saying that I'm sweet and nice and all this other good stuff. Uh, Jamil, we all know Jamillionaire was cheering for me. Miss Mona, who I met out in California, was asking people to help me out. And I just kept meeting person after person. I met Edna. She's in Guatemala, but she uh, speaks English and Spanish perfectly. She's a, get this, she's a web, uh, does web design and does... Um, um, all kinds of, um, what do you call it, uh, Dreamweaver work and um, Photoshop work. So that's a great person to know. Not only does she do it, but she teaches it. So she has, see, I have, I do freelance and I have students that do it also. So I'm sitting here and I'm busy fooling around asking people for help. And somebody's judging me thinking I'm obsessed, but in the meantime, I'm meeting a ton of people. See, this guy is out in the Caribbean. I forget which one of the islands he was on. Great guy. I met Lisa. She's really cool. Um, so person after person. Oh, look at this. Tatiana did this for me. This is the Russian diva Tatiana, who I didn't know. Um, Tim Hill was helping me out. Um, and then I met Alexi Sebastian. Now, she's a coach. I know who she is through uh, DK and, and some other people. Um, so I had never really met her before. So we just started chit-chatting. And little by little, I was meeting person after person after person. And then my buddy Tim says something nice about me. Met somebody who's right here in Stafford, Connecticut. Um, and I'm just seeing what everybody's doing and who everybody is. And Alexi and I start talking about how to do things on blogs. And Scott Manesis, who I've known for a while. So I have all this stuff going on and all these people talking about me. And in just a few minutes, I created a huge buzz around my name. Now, a couple things went on. One, I asked for help. And like I said, people will do more to help you than they will do to help themselves. Two, everybody who chimed in to give me a hand, I looked at their profile real quick. I got to know them. I ended up meeting a Photoshop designer. I ended up meeting a really sharp girl who runs several websites. I ended up meeting Alexis. 
um, who I had wanted to meet. Um, so, you know, met this guy with this cool website and cool books, got more conversation with Scott, who is just starting to work with me, um, you know. So what a successful night. Yeah, I got up to my 17,000 followers. But what was most important is that I got to have huge conversations, meet a ton of great potential prospects, meet a ton of great people that might be able to help me. Maybe I'm a prospect for them. Meet some people that know a lot of people that I run with. So just more good connections, more uh, networking, more referrals. And in a few moments, I was able to create a big spin and a rush on my name. So. There you go. I'm putting this out on Facebook. I'd save it for my private students, but I want everybody to see what went on. Now, should you all run around and do this tomorrow? No, it has to be genuine, guys. I genuinely wanted to hit the number because it's just exciting and fun. I genuinely wanted to meet all these people. I genuinely read their profiles, and I genuinely met a lot of really cool, cool, cool folks tonight. And if you can use Twitter to do stuff like this and you can use Twitter to build your presence and the most important part is people who have a conversation with you they're going to read your tweets and if I met 20 30 40 people tonight and then they're spreading the word about me maybe got a hundred people noticing me more that was worth anything that I did and who knows who uh, what business relationships personal relationships will come out of spending an hour tonight fooling around and having a good time so that was my tactic. That's what I was doing. Um, you can look at it how you want. Maybe you think it was underhanded and I was being tricky. I think it was just me asking for help and meeting a bunch of great people. And the best part is when it's time for them to need help, I'm going to kick in. I'm going to give them a hand too. I'm going to help them build their followers and their presence. And um, you know, you guys, you might think the internet's a big world, but it's a very small world of the people that stick around long enough to do the deal. And in a very short period of time, you start to recognize there's only a handful of players. And the question is, do you want to be one? If you decide to become one and you really follow through, it's only a matter of time till you meet all the other players. It's just the way it works. And it's a ball, it's a good time, and Twitter um, can be one of the best tools that you can possibly use. So stop thinking you're supposed to run around and put links and try to sell stuff and start thinking relationships. Who can I help? Who can help me? Where can we go? And most importantly, don't forget you meet a guy and now you're being able to meet all the people that he knows. And that's the viral aspect that most people just don't get about social networking. So 2.30 in the morning, trying to keep my voice down. I hope that helps some of you guys. And uh, you can always reach me at Diane at DianeHockman.com if uh, you, know, you want to check out some of the classes we have going on that teach people about how to do this. It's really reasonable, really helpful, and um, a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys later.